devices for too long. Mm -hmm. I find women to be mean as hell. I'm sorry. With really? Oh, oh my yes. gosh. Am I mean? Oh yes. Yes. J Jasmine, are you mean? A little bit. Yeah, you might be. I'm a, I'm I'm straightforward too. Yeah. I'm in your face and on your world. But I'm not mean. Okay. Are do you, are you aggressive? No. I'm assertive. Okay. I'm not aggressive. What's the difference? Well, first of all, your intention. Okay. And assertiveness, it's about dominion and accomplishing a particular thing. And aggressive, it's about control and getting what you're going for. Gotcha. Okay. And there's a difference. One comes from the head, one comes My from intention. the heart. Assertion comes from the heart. Aggression comes from the head. And it's ego and control. And women today, I find uh, certain generations of women today are extremely aggressive unkind unloving and mean as hell oh. wow it's true auntie is um given the free game from from a woman's perspective do you think women are mean as hell what do you uh, what do you think from anecdotal experiences they have been many times where i've seen women be mean they're Either mean or very rude or very but disrespectful. It it come from yeah, it's all under place. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Your intentions wasn't good. And mm. where is it coming from? Why are you so angry? Why are you so like manly? The bitter, masculine, yeah. angry woman. Yeah. There's loads. Um, a lot of men are checking out because I, for me, I think women are quite masculine and, and they are quite mean. They, they, before... They used to be very ladylike, mm -hmm. very sensitive, very just cool. More of an innocence about them. Innocence? There's no innocence. Listen, nowadays, <laughs> it's just hoes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, hoes, whatever, right? But I'm just saying, even just speaking to them, like, okay, if you go on a first date, mm -hmm. they're not very kind. Yeah. I don't, I don't get that that whole feminine touch, that whole mm -hmm. ladylike. Um, they say um, chivalry is dead mm -hmm. and women killed it. That's why, because mm -hmm. most men are checking out because women are quite mean, mm -hmm. amongst other things. And I'm not saying all women, because there are some women, mm -hmm. and they're cool, they're safe, but I have they don't example. say nothing, though. I have a great example. Yeah. And this video went viral. Mm. we done a video, a uh, um, reaction video, to the Cheesecake Factory lady. Now, she is a okay. great example, because she's going on a first date with a guy, yeah. and she's being a bitch, let's just be honest. Yeah. Uh, let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this phone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yes. Uh, would you want me to open the door for you? Look at, look at Are you? You're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? This is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You want to talk about it? I'm, I'm fine with talking about uh -huh. it, even in front of them. Oh, sure. yeah. I want to talk about it. Yeah. Come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, so, yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So, you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, when you take out a beautiful woman <laughs> and you're courting her, because I, I get courted. So, mm -hmm. you're courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, That's what you're supposed I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went into factory. this date as I expect, uh, with the expectations for myself, to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and just treat you like a gentleman. Which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty nice, then, but I mean, and then cheesecake pack. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. 
I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. And, and at least, you know, um, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, even like, uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't, uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that, or hold my hand or anything like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay. I yeah. don't know I, you. I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When, uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. We're not again. I don't we're not know there yet. Okay. And then, but I, I mean, mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. But I, I got mean, myself all made up. Nothing wrong with the cheesecake factory, right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the cheesecake factory. Okay. Well, look at I mean, look at my plan where we were gonna go originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call see, him. Call him. No. What do you mean, no? See. I specifically told you both yesterday and this morning that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs I for an hour. Right? But I wasn't expecting for work to take me so long. I got home a little late. And like I said, I don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment. And that is not possible. And that's why I'm saying, I'm thinking, okay, if we're not there in the relationship to, you know, meet uh, at your apartment, then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice, fancy rela uh, restaurant as Aria, especially if I'm paying for the whole thing, which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice... It wasn't that late. I'm we literally so left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Oh, okay. And I specifically oh, said four okay. because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, and we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said, understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific certain expectations oh, for no. death. I can tell it's not going to be there. I ha And maybe we're not right for each other. So, respectfully, I'm oh, going to just drop you off at home. Oh, no, he didn't. Yeah, I'm up. So, you just want to call it a night? I mean, yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something? Uh, Ladies, can you believe this? I'm sorry, y'all. He uh, just pulled uh, out of the parking space. I, I, if I don't feel can respected, I, I am mean, not going to go through I mean, with the rest come of the day. On. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah. I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean... I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand that I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them and you've broken everyone. Oh so my God. I'm sorry. We're dropping you off home. All right, whatever. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You got to do what you got to do. I, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. You're being mean to the guy. He's done nothing yeah. wrong. He's made reservations for you. He's done all sorts of things, gone out his way yeah. to do things. He got there on time. He wasn't late. And you was disrespectful and, and, this whole and rude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entitled like I deserve. Yes. And the the point is, yeah. is that there was no need for it. It's not like he done something to you mm. that warranted, okay, 
a response like that. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So this is what a lot of men are going through. I'm yeah. not saying all men are perfect. No, I'm talking about the decent men. And where, he. Okay. Where, mm-hmm. where do you think the disconnect is? Like, because I would say the culture. Mm-hmm. Why? Okay. So we can argue there's a lot of simps. Uh-huh. And they would gas women's heads up. But if you're a nasty person, you're a nasty person. Yeah. <laughs> free and free. But then maybe the culture, as far as like feminism, mm-hmm. telling women that you are the prize, mm-hmm. you're perfect, men are beneath you. It's so definitely then, So then that's why they talk up. down to men. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's a component as well to look at. There are components, definitely. And mm. <clears throat> sorry, um, feminism is definitely a massive player in that yeah, yeah plus the culture of today has changed mm. so i'm not saying the culture was the greatest before mm. our culture wasn't the greatest yeah but the culture now is like 10 what times you, worse but do you remember women when they was okay if you like a guy mm-hmm. you'd put your best foot forward even mm-hmm. if you're playing the soft girl era mm-hmm. right and you're trying to pretend to even woo him women are not even doing that now i remember once upon a time have you eaten? And, I, and I'm sure I'd, I'd more lean this to the, to the older dudes. Have you eaten? Because what I see with younger women nowadays, they're quite mean. Mm-hmm. Not all, but they are quite mean. They, they're saying cook for some man and that's your boyfriend. That's yeah. your boyfriend. That's someone you like. In my generation, <laughs> it was better. Because it was bad even in your generation. It was bad, but, but, but yeah, it's worse now. I know. Because I would ask, have you eaten? Would you like food? Or I've just cooked and food. Do you want some? Clean up but after some man. Exactly. Are you dumb? Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. <laughs> That's your boyfriend. <laughs> Nowadays, you yeah. ain't getting that. Because guys will say something as basic as a sandwich. You won't even make your man a sandwich. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. It's a sandwich. Mm. It's not that deep is it just for it some ham but it, but it's really it not no, because but it is. it's not like he said i want um a steak sandwich to where you need to and get if you did i know but my point uh-huh. is it's not like some guys are not asking for that they just said i want to say i'm hungry right now i would like a sandwich you're telling me you can't get two slices of bread bread butter and some ham and lettuce or something and put in the thing you, are you being for real it's not that That's, hard that's your mentality it'll take you less than five minutes that's how you may think but i'm saying this whole entitlement culture you can't meet you can't take me to a chain um, restaurant mm-hmm. you gotta take me to some michelin star mm, but in, in, the, in, the, in the very same breath a dude that you like or find attractive or he's that guy can blow your back out and he ain't got nothing yeah you don't ha- yeah you well, don't you don't ask him for nothing but well, the point is where does the meanness come from and i'll leave it there so guys um put in the comments um where do you think it comes from? Mm-hmm. Um, do you do you think women today are mean? I do. I do. Mm-hmm. I don't think all of them are, but I think, no. yeah, a lot of them a is lot of them are, yeah. very masculine and difficult to, d- to deal with. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.